episode of Three Ply Podcast. I'm Angie. I'm Irene. And I'm Joyce. And we are from the Chicagoland area. We are knitters. Uh, we met at our local yarn shop called Elgin Knitworks, which is located in Elgin, Illinois. It's about 35 miles northwest of Chicago. Uh, I've been knitting for about 16 years. <laughs> And I also crochet, and I've been crocheting since I was in the third grade. I am a relatively new knitter, uh, knitting for about a year and a half, and uh, I out-knit everyone here because that's all I do is knit. I'm obsessed. <laughs> She's retired. <Yeah. laughs> and Joyce? And I have been knitting for more years than I'm going to divulge, but um, since I was a kid. Very We're going to start with, um, what am I wearing? So I'll go first since um, I'm the one with the mouth. <laughs> yes, <laughs> <you will. laughs> um, This is the silver leaf, which I um, just finished not too long ago. It is beautiful. Oh, thank you. It's very lovely. Really love this pattern. Sorry, we're hiding your face. All of our faces, actually. Yeah, this <laughs> is a good look for us. Yes. <laughs> um, it is oval. Ogle design yarn. yarn, and that is the the gradient green, kind of starts light and gets darker. And then the uh, leaf pattern is Sueno. Uh, I don't think it had a color, but it's kind of a green uh, that's in the very beginning of the scarf, and then finished off with the last of the gradient. And I used every bit of my yarn uh, except the Sueno. I didn't quite use all of that. And um, I love this pattern. It's, it's pretty. It's, it's very really pretty. really fun. A lot of people in our shop are knitting it. Yeah. What size needle was this on? This is on a six, and I used um, Knitter's Pride, which I really love. So um, for me, they have a really sharp point, and that's one of my one of my pet peeves with knitting needles. I got to have a good sharp point. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Yeah. Okay, I'll go next. Yeah, I've got Neato. It's a triangle scarf by Jumper Cables, a uh, gal named Annie Baker. We're really doing this right. We're covering Angie up all the time. Yes. Yeah, this is good. <laughs> good for you, Angie. Ah, yay. <laughs> Sorry, Angie. So, this was a fun drop stitch pattern that used one skein of Mono Still Uruguay Alegria. It's a 75% merino, 25% nylon, 100 grams. Yeah, very yeah. pretty. I made it was one of fun. Too. I, yeah, and very, very even pretty. though it's summer, it's actually it's light a lightweight. Weight. Yeah. yeah, because of the drop stitch. Right, yeah. yeah. And some of the people in the shop used linen, and that was awesome. But oh, I've yeah. never, I've yeah, never knit clean. with linen, and I'm not about to just about. Not now, not <laughs> this year. It. Yeah, You'll not, love it. You'll love it. Very, very pretty. And well, thank then you. Wear it. And mine is the loop shawl, and I'm sure you're all familiar with that. As um, our whole shop did it, right? I think so. Yeah, so that's right. Everybody that's basically, right. everybody at Elgin Networks did it. And it, the blue is the Madeline Tosh, and the. Um, the stripes is from Knitted Wit called that Melted, Melted Crayon. Crayon. Oh my gosh, Love. so vibrant. I don't know that it really picks up how bright. Well, it does really pick up how Your bright it is. Your knitting is exquisite. It's so but exact. Very, very pretty. I don't remember who wow. made the, or who designed the. We'll put shop. it in the show notes. Okay. Yeah. yeah, very lovely. Some of you. You're probably familiar with yeah, it. But, yeah, everybody that made it really loved it. It was, yeah, and so many fun ones. I can't believe just oh, the, the color just choices the different made them. Yeah, everybody came up with. Everybody it looks is so unique, different. and they're all beautiful. Yeah, they're each all and every beautiful. one of them. So yeah, this was a real, this was real fun in it. And this uh, knitted wit is way out of my comfort zone as far yes, as it is, color, but, but it's um, beautiful. But the color is really, really, really pop. Really Isn't nice. it a good idea to kind of get out of your box, uh, you know, and try something different? Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah I really well, like I know if you open up my yarn yeah. uh, collection in my room, it's all turquoise and teals. So, mm -hmm. you know, I think well, you, you buy what you like and you knit your colors, you yeah, know. Mine's true. gray. <laughs> <laughs> How exciting. <laughs> okay, know, so we're going right? to move on to look what I finished. And Irene's going to start with a... I'll tell you what I finished. Summer Sky. It's a pattern by Janina Calio. And this was a fun knit. I used uh, Apple Tree Knits uh, yarn. It's a gradient, plush gradient in colorway, Morning Fog, the 560 yard cake. And it's 100% superwash merino. I'll show you the pattern that I bought at Elgin Knitworks. So cute. Yes. Yeah. I bought that one as yeah. well. And you can just get this a little closer so they can see the pretty yeah. colors. There you that. go. Yeah, it's look so at the gradient pretty. on that. That yeah. looks beautiful. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, and I brought 
uh, this darling little pattern. This was all over Ravelry um, around the 4th of July, and it is all done with Sueno. It's um, uh, red, white, and blue, of course. And the pattern did call for stars in the blue section. I did not put them on um, because the reason I didn't put them on is because I made this to go with my um, Texas flag cowboy boots. And they're really and cute. <laughs> I just wanted the colors, the exact colors of the boots, and I didn't want Should it to be closer? Yeah, like very Americana. Look at so. that. It's beautiful. Yeah, but I pretty. love this pattern. Love it. And it's huge, so it's really good for, um, you know, double wrapping or, or what have you. But it looks great with those boots, girls. Very, very cute. I'm sorry, girls, but I didn't bring anything for finishing. Oh, you better get moving. <laughs> <laughs> get some knitting done, woman. I think I'm afraid to bring one more bag. <laughs> yeah, I know that feeling. Okay, so then uh, I guess we should move on to Ask Me What I'm Knitting. Why don't we start with you since you didn't... Uh... We can do that. Okay, I am making the Rubella sweater by Isabel Kramer, and it's a pullover, and it's very cute, and I'm almost done. And it's made out of the Barocco oh, Fiora, funny. and it's just as cute as it could be. It's cute on as well. Oh, and it feels so good. Yeah. And these colors well, are dark. And the co oh, you know, I knew this was going to be beautiful when my swatch came out almost perfectly. Yeah. Look at that. Look how pretty the swatch is. I don't know if you can see, see the Let me see if I can closer. hold it closer. Yeah. Does I mean, this woman know how to knit? Oh my fun. God, it's and so I perfect. I really didn't even, oh my I mean, God. and I blocked awesome. it and it really, it really didn't change. And it is, I have a, it's Fiora. It is 40% cotton, 30% 30% rayon, 15% alpaca, 10% nylon, and 5% wool. So. What's not to love? And I think they said it was machine washable, I want to say. And well, this makes me want to knit. I don't really know. But anyway. So, yes. Very cute. Love it. One sleeve almost completed and one sleeve to go. And then and then I'll be done. Then I can wear it. Well, you know, when it's not 90 degrees out. But yeah, <laughs> very much in love with the sweater. She's one of my, she is one of my favorite designers. I this love that sweater. Yeah, she's beautiful. Yeah, it's really lovely. And the yarn again is um, so pretty. Barocco Fiora. Lovely. Very Just nice. lovely. Oh, really pretty. Love it. All right. And this is my project that I'm working on right now. I actually only have two rows to go. So this is a shawl and it's gigantic. It's called January Thaw. Just put it a little closer so you can beautiful. see the stitches. Yeah, very pretty. The I like color. It. The colors are very Oh my pretty. gosh, it's It almost beautiful. looks like iceberg. Yeah, it's like white and blue. And I think it's called uh, Whitewash yeah, um, by uh, Madeline Tosh. Of course, we all love Madeline Tosh. And it has, I'm just finishing up the border here. And I think I have about two rows to go and I'll be binding that off. And so, this is her worsted? Uh, this is the DK. Oh, okay. And I just love it. I when I know when I block it out, it's going to be gigantic and just something really fun to wear with jeans and a so oh my god, yeah, so cute. Yeah. Little jean jacket. How cute. And is some that? cowboy boots. And, oh, of course. <laughs> and cowboy boots. What size needle? Uh, this is a six. And um, I, yeah, it, like I said, I like it. Kind of has a faux uh, cable look to yeah, it, yeah, yeah. and you know, it's just simple. It's just you just keep repeating the whole thing and very cute. It very grows. very cute. Yeah, darling, is I love it. Is it a good TV Lovely. kind of knitting? It is. It is. Yeah. I just use my little uh, post-it note, move along the pattern, and I can knit it while I watch TV. Awesome. No problem. I like so. that. All right, I'll show you what I'm knitting. Let's go, Miss Irene. What you got? All right, silver leaf. Ooh. So the Whatever. shawl that uh, Angie is wearing currently, this is one that's on the go. Beautiful. And I'm using mono, still Uruguay, Alegria again. Not really pretty. Yeah. We're a little twisted over here. Yeah, okay, twisted, there but there we go. maybe you can see. And the yeah. leaf pattern is so pretty. Love it. So. Yeah. Almost it's done. Really, I'm really getting pretty. Your color choices are very nice. Well, thank very you, nice. Joyce. Great. Thank you. What color is, um, what, what is the green? Uh, Manos as well. Oh, okay. Yeah. What yeah. does it have a... I, have I'm sure it has a color, <laughs> but I don't know it. <laughs> yes, she I'll put that in. Yeah, I'll put it in the show notes. But very but yeah, pretty, it's That's, yummy. It's a it great shawl. Good. A lot of people in the shop were making it, yeah. and you know, so many people came up with different yeah. color combinations. Again, you get True. everybody's personality, and 
It's and I would just encourage people when they get to the leaf pattern to be careful and pay attention. That's all. Yeah. It's not that difficult. It yeah. just requires some. Because the body of the pattern is yeah. quick. It's just right. Back yeah, and the leaf, that is true. The no leaf. social knitting. Huh? Yeah, yeah, no social no, knitting. No. <laughs> but I'll tell you about social knitting. I am also working on catch and release, a lovely sweater. Um, it is by Melissa Shashwary. How does that sound? Sounds Shashwary. Good. I'm using Madeline Tosh DK. It's in the colorway optic. And I'm also, what is helping me achieve this easy knit is this fabulous worksheet after this row. And guess who designs these? It's our <laughs> Joyce, our co-host. She's awesome. She's going to tell you all about it. But basically, by using this worksheet, you cannot fail. It's awesome. Um, yeah, that? this is just a tracking sheet that I came up with. Um, a number of years ago now that um, I found that I needed when I put down my knitting because I was always one of those people that said, oh, I'll, re I'll remember. I'll yeah. remember where I am when I get back and never, never could. But, you know, I had active children, you know, baseball and dance and all of that. And sometimes I wouldn't get back to my project for, you know, a couple of days, a week, sometimes a month. And I, inevitably, and I know... You should all be able to read your knitting. But sometimes right. I don't want to read my knitting. I just want to sit and knit. Right. So I came up with this little chart so that I could basically map out my pattern as I was working on it or even before I started working on it. And, and then I could just check off what row I was on and I could resume knitting anytime I sat down to, anytime I sat down to knit. No, no bare, bare, bare feet. feet. <laughs> okay. Well, I'm the sock person. I love yes. socks. Let me tell you about the socks that uh, I have here. These are uh, my own vanilla sock pattern. I do a two by two rib, uh, stocking that down the body, and then I do a regular uh, heel turn and uh, gusset heel flap. On this one, I put a garter edge. I don't know if you can see it here. Which is really Just cute. a little decorative uh, touch. So, And what makes these yummy this is a yarn from Elgin Knitworks, again, our local yarn shop. That's and it's hand their hand-dyed, and it has cashmere in it. Mm. Yeah, no, no bare feet indeed. Yes. <laughs> and I usually use a US-1 needle, and I cast on 56 stitches, and always, always, two at a time. And then I also have a few. Let me get my feet up on the table. <laughs> These are a couple of others that I've oh, made. This was so yes, cute. knit quit yarn, and this one was with Ogle Design. Their gradient uh, specifically for socks, so they were in two uh, cakes. So that was easy. Thank you. Thank you. So well, I'm not a sock knitter, so we'll get you there. <laughs> we'll get you there. Maybe we'll start with Christmas socks. <laughs> Actually, a few years ago, that's all I did was knit socks, and I they're do have fun. lots of them. But again, on my way here, I didn't even think yeah. to bring them. Even and they're fun we to take on the go. Oh, which they're speaking of they're that, they're good pocket bars. Yes, pocket book absolutely. Yeah. If you're oh, taking yeah, a long trip, bag. I got to tell you about the bag yeah, I talk have. About the bag. So I got this from the Silver Shed USA, and look what's interesting about this. I can put several projects, three pairs of socks in here. So when I have them separated out and the two balls, I put them in here, and uh, I knit along, and when I get to a spot that's kind of tough, I let that one go and move on to the next one. So uh, I can go cross-country yeah. with this bag and my needles. So. That's a cute idea. Yeah. And there's so Love many it. there's so many sock knitters out there that would come in handy. Oh, for. yeah. And you got, you got that from what store? And uh, on Etsy, the Silver Shed USA, cute. and her on, work is awesome. Yeah. It'll be on our show so notes. Nice. And so unique. Yeah, you know, you I could agree. also use this for uh, um, separate color balls if you're color working work. on color work. Absolutely. You know? yeah. That'd be a good way to keep it separated. Yeah, absolutely. Perfect. Yeah. Uh, Thank Joyce, you. she's got some great socks to show us too. Well, actually, I have the same yarn that Irene has over there from Knitted Wit. This one is called um, Pawnee Goddess. And these socks are actually for my daughter. And this is the first time I've not knitted so it socks two at a time in a long time but i didn't have two size one oh um serfs so and i'm following susan b anderson's sock smooth recipe, operator smooth operator socks and this is my first time doing the um afterthought heel her way looks beautiful so 
I'm a little, I'm a little scared. I've had to watch the video a couple of times and actually I think I stopped because I actually think I have one extra stitch. <laughs> Knit but, two together. <laughs> <laughs> so, but they are, the yarn is very, very pretty and I'm really um, quite anxious to get back to them and I think I put them down for, for long enough and when I, uh, when I picked them up, I did notice that that's when I had the extra stitch. I'm like, oh, that's probably a reason, but no. <laughs> but anyway, they're very lovely, and um, I'm hoping this will be my new sock recipe. But the yarn is very pretty, and I'm using a different yarn from um, Crazy Lady Socks for the heels and the toes. So, again, my daughter, hopefully, you know, Christmas, she'll oh, get them in her it's sock. it's a pretty color. Yeah, it is pretty color. You want to, can you reach over there and show them how sure. pretty the pattern is? so pretty. Yeah. It's oh, is that very, pretty? It is really pretty. Beautiful. Beautiful pretty. color. Great. Great. Yay. Okay, yeah, that's all nice. I have, ladies. Okay, so now we're going to move on to our favorite segment. Yeah. <laughs> Don't tell our husbands. Shh. <laughs> <laughs> all right, let me tell you what I just recently purchased. It is, again, Ogle Design. And you can buy these at uh, Elgin Networks, of course. And this is kind of interesting because it has everything you need to make a, what's called the sweet little nothing scarf uh, and beads, which I have not knit with. So that'll be interesting. And I love the color. It's just so cool. I've got nothing like yeah. this. So it'll be nice very different. Colors. And that separates yeah. out into three skeins and works a gradient as mm -hmm. you knit the pattern. So that'll be great. Really pretty. Kind of looking forward to creating. Oh, I have the same one. Very, very nice. Um, I don't, didn't bring any uh, yarn with me because I couldn't sneak it out of the house. <laughs> <laughs> um, but I did just recently purchase some Zen from, uh, Betsy's shop. Uh, they're having a Zen trunk show starting next Friday, the 28th. July 28th. Yeah. Yes. So, uh, there's a, a Zen trunk show and I kind of, um, peered through the bag and picked a couple real beauties to, uh. She pre-shopped. I did. Oh, you know, I have a problem. <laughs> anyway, so um, I snuck them home in my purse, though. Two skeins, no problem. So <laughs> yeah, I think you're up there in competition with Amber. Yeah. yeah. I think you're getting right there with her. I'm bad. Speaking of, Amber from the Yarn Hoarder. Remember yes, the, the, the Yarn Hoarder we were podcast. talking and it said Heidi, her daughter, had done that book for, um, um, for, Rescue dogs trying to find a, um, a permanent home. Oh my God, so cute. Well, after we talked about it, I told the ladies, I said, I'm going to buy each of us one. Well, darn, if I didn't get home and find the thread was locked, she sold all of those books. Wow. wow. She, she did a made great like job. $547. And um, Amber on Instagram had put a picture of all the loot that she bought for the shelter. Oh, oh my God, oh. so much. What a great cause. Stop. It was, it just warms your heart. Even when I tried to write a comment, I'm like, there is nothing I could say that would describe exactly how I feel about yeah, how that's yeah. really cool. How wonderful this thing that she did was. So Amber, if you do ever open that thread again, I'm, Let in, us for know. Three, I'm in for three bucks. <laughs> so I don't know if she was going to reprint them or not, but yeah. I'm sure I'm not the first one who said, yeah. I forgot, I'll take one. I yeah. hope she does. I hope yeah, she does. What a great sweet. cause. So yeah. sweet. Yeah. Uh, I should mention that one of the reasons that we started this podcast was because uh, we are finding that there's only about three or four podcasters in Illinois, and most of them are located in central uh, central Illinois. Yeah, Amber nice. is from central Illinois of the uh, Yarn Hoarder. Uh, U University, one of my faves, uh, that's Dr. Christine Kelly. She's also down there. And uh, Spicy Homemaker, Melissa. She is also located uh, south of here. So we thought, well, why don't we bring some Chicago uh, vibe to the podcast world? Yeah. So that's what we're going to attempt to do here. Yeah, and there's a, yeah. there is a couple more. There's, um, I think they're the Knit Lit Girls, and I think they mostly do vlogs now. But mm -hmm. um, they were, um, one was studying to be an attorney, I think. One was studying to be a doctor. So they were really, really busy. And then you have... Paula from the Knitting Pipeline. She's down there with Amber and uh, Melissa and U University. So right. yeah, other than that, there's no one up here by us. Something new, something yeah. fresh. <laughs> On to something new, our special little uh, 
uh, trivia that trivia, we want to add. Trivia, yes. We kind of wanted to add something a little different than uh, our normal podcasters that we view. And this will be just a little segment of trivia regarding knitting. So what I found, and maybe some people know this or not, I did not. In 2006, Miriam Teggles set the world record for fastest knitting by hand knitting 118 stitches in just one minute. Uh, right. Though this remains the speediest <laughs> recorded knitting time in the world, Miriam has been beaten in a competition before by a fellow speed knitter, Hazel Tyndall, who knit 262 stitches in three minutes compared to Tegel's 243. So now we're thinking maybe we should time ourselves. <laughs> I don't know. How I, fast is that? I failed typing. <laughs> I, don't know. I don't know that I can speed knit. I think we should do that. One of these days okay. we will. All right, we will. Yeah. Um, that would be funny. It'd be shameful, but funny. Yes, shameful is right, especially for me. So, um, well, we just wanted to say thank you to everyone for watching us today. We're really excited to be uh, starting on this journey. Um, hopefully... We'll come up with some topics that you want to hear about. And if there's something you want to hear about, maybe you can send us a little note. Um, but we wanted to say thank you, and uh, we really look forward to this. And in the future, we should be a little more comfortable. Yeah, a little bit. <laughs> Practice makes perfect. Right. So. And remember, keep on knitting. It's good for your health. Bye, everybody. Bye. Bye. Is it going? Yeah, it's going. Okay, perfect. What was that? <laughs> Ready? Yeah. Do I see a fluff? I'm like all falling apart over here. Okay. All right. How's that? Good. All right. Are we ready? Yes. Sir. Yes, ma'am. Hi. Okay. Right. So, try it again from the top. Sorry. <laughs> no, be me. Works. Where we um. <laughs> it was Lush. driving me crazy. <laughs> we should have just left it there. I couldn't because it was like a big purple pile right here. Oh my it. god! I didn't know you were such a perfectionist. <laughs> god damn it! Okay. <laughs> okay, I promise I won't. I'll put. I'll, okay, I'll sit under my We hands. have to do this now. Come on. Right. Okay, it's gonna be midnight. The <laughs> yeah. sun's going down. I can't be on all day. Oh my god! I all suspected. Right.